Boone Morgan Pressel looking at some of the highlights from earlier today and a player who loves this place, Anna Nordquist getting her round started at 10. Yeah, she's won back-to-back -back events here, loves this golf course, and what a way to get off to a hot start here. Winner in 2015 and 16. A tie at Titic on her ninth hole of the day, the par 5 18. A reachable par 5, one that you definitely want to take advantage of. Putting yourself in contention every week. But well, the second hole is a tough one. This is Jenny Shin from off the back. Four tenths of a stroke over par today, the hardest hole on the golf course. And then the par 5 third. Here's her second. This is a player who shot 65 in a U.S. Open qualifier. Go from one of the hardest holes in the golf course, number two, to one of the easiest here, number three. This hole giving up two eagles. Jenny making it look easy. It's sort of four under par. Hyoju Kim at the par five third. Another reachable par five. The easiest hole on the golf course today. This is Jenny Shin for another birdie already at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, wow, that turned like crazy. It was like playing mini golf. A little early in the day, Tom, for the Poana to be moving the ball a little more than a half shot over par, but it is the scoring conditions are about as good as you can get out here this morning. Well, a Rito missing out at the 15th, which can be a very difficult par three when the wind blows. This is the shortest golf course on the LPGA Tour. This is the fourth and a par putt for Titikun. Karen Stipples is there. The second shot was just a little bit short. And you can see that uh, nothing is uh, is given out here in the, on these greens. The second shot went a little bit long, but she decided to putt it from off the back edge of the green to here. This whole plane downwind today, and the wind has just started to pick up out here. It was fairly quiet first thing this morning. We're not already this year. Remember at Palace Birdies back in uh, April. requires a lot of precision. That shot just inside 100 yards. All right, the 16th, the familiar face, Paula Rito, South Africa, who won for the first time last year in Canada. She's done just about everything but win. Palace Verdes. Over at six, this is Jenny Shin, third, par four. Just caught up in the fringe a little bit, still so fast. <laughs> Struggled a bit since to the fifth. Titicoon's second. And that was just from 61 yards, Tom. Yeah, delicate little shot. She played it so well. Averages are, are much higher than usual. The groups we're uh, watching here on the front nine all started from the 10th. And that one just leaking to the left. So we'll see these groups finish up and then we'll get a little bit of action from the afternoon wave of players as well in the second half of our coverage here. The 35th playing of the ShopRite LPGA Classic. This is DT Ashok for the par here at five. This would complete the up and down having made a mistake with her second shot, you have to say, short hole. Race to the CME Globe from DT Ashok over to Paula Rito on the tee at the 17th. Flag in the middle of the screen today, getting that one to dance a bit. Back over to five, and Nordquist with her second. Yeah, just a little, uh, little lob wedge, 78 yards to the hole. Managing that ridge fairly well. Yeah, nicely done there. Mental thing that can happen to some golfers, it's really unexplainable. Hey, Yun Chen from Chinese Taipei. It's at the sixth. Walk it in. Hey, you narrowly missed a playoff. 
Shorty par 314 yards, 17th, and that's a two for Paula Rito. Really good opportunity here. Uphill, slight right to left break. Maybe a little more than slight. There's a close association uh, with the ShopRite LPGA Classic K. They gave her a sponsor invite back in 2015, so it's been a long... And she can afford to hit this firmly to try to keep it on line. When you get above these whole locations, you have to hit it tentatively, and that's when the Poana will make it bobble a little bit. Jenny just short of the green here at the seventh. Chip and a putt. Maybe just a chip. Yeah, KPMG Women's PGA. I believe that'll be the 97th consecutive major championship for Angela Stanford. She wants to get to 100 in a row. Needs to get into... Oh, hold on a minute. Needs to get into the Chevron Championship next year. Yeah, good up and down in the end for Jenny. Experienced campaigner. Well, her game's really been on fire and trending in the right direction. This putt's downhill. Nicely done. It's Angela Stanford for a birdie. Yeah, good two there for Angela. Just about the same yardage, but from the fairway. Maybe able to get a little more spin on this. Oh, how about that? Calculation and execution. Tom said it's hard to play while you're calling golf. I, I attempted. It didn't work out. It didn't work out very well. Six Georgia Hall. That was from a, a couple paces ahead of Anna, a little further left in the fairway. Jenny Shin, 17th hole of the day, leading by one. This is the eighth, and that looked like it hurt. Yeah, there's the right side of the fairway is quick here down the hill. The first five or six feet, once it gets on the green, is straight down the hill. Then it flattens out a bit. Oh, okay. nicely done. It was a year ago that she, a year ago this week that she went left hand low. Back at the sixth, Nordquist for birdie. Yeah, let's to get to five under again. Oh, two holes in a row. That she very well could have had two more birdies. Yeah, you have to show a lot of patience out here on these greens. This would be for a, a bounce back. Oh, she got it, dead center. Beautiful stroke. At the 18th, it's an eagle putt for Paula Rito. Let's give her the lead if it drops. Uphill break. A lot left to right here. Nicely done with speed. Very young player on the ladies' European tour before she transitioned to the LPGA. At the 18th, how about Natakrita Wong to Wilap? Big hitter from Thailand in a rookie season, and what a way to finish. And this is the third one for par in uh, the last three holes of this length. And she just continues to impress with this club. Yeah, this is the club that makes her the money. I mean, when she putts well. Brother Sebastian take on Rafa Nadal. Uh, and it's usually the same week in the French Open. So that's a two-putt birdie for Paula Rito. And a nice start for Paula. It's a putt that's going to break to the right on this downhill. That's never that easy. She also just changed the left hand low here, Karen. New putter and new technique. I can take a little bit of getting used to, Morgan. This is Amy Olsen. It's nice to see Amy in the field. She announced recently that she is uh, expecting and is going to be taking maternity leave coming up after the U.S. Women's Open. She doesn't know if she's going to come back and play on the LPGA Tour after she becomes a mother. Tough thing to plan for, Tom. You don't know. You don't know how your body will. The putter from off the green. Going with that trusty putter. Morgan called it downhill, back uphill, then downhill again. A couple of different breaks. Great touch. 
There's really nobody better, Tom, no. from, with putter from long range distance control than Anna. Tom, a, a turtle scooted across the green as this group approached. He was checking out the whole location and the read of Brooks putt. I think uh, taking a three on this hole each and every day would be very satisfactory. Now this putt to avoid another bogey as it has been an up and down day. Get up and down. Uh, think golf. This high risk of a shot, Karen? I, I mean, that's well played. I can't argue with the result there. Wow. Just beautiful. Really done. well done. Yeah. Great huh? imagination there. Rattles it in. Yeah. You know, from Osaka in Japan, 22 years of age, has had great success. Steady. Yeah. Yeah, nicely done. And Jenny Shin gets the six under par. 65 today leads the way. This shot, 95 yards to the hole. Well, that, that's some course knowledge there. Up to the 18th and an eagle putt for Sophia Schubert. It has been a real struggle for Sophia. She hasn't made a cut this year. Oh, and that's going to be her first round in the 60s since Singapore in early March. She did make it to the weekend Bank of Opel PGA match play, and who knows if just that different format might spur something on in a great match play player. Georgia Hall consistently inside the top 10. Let's see if she can do something here on the par five. Yeah, coming in with that long iron, it, it should be her four iron. 192 to the front, hoping to skitter it up there. Oh, great shot, Kay. Really good, one of the best we've seen so far today. And a good look at an eagle for Georgia Hall. Take you to the 10th and the first hole of the day and the first event in well over a year for Austin Ernst battling an injury. And welcome back, Austin. Here's the Solheim Cup legend and a Nordquist at the eighth. Tricky double breaker on the speedy side. Oh, she's had a few K that have just barely grabbed the edge and not fallen in. Tia Tittigan for a birdie at nine. Remember, she was just short of the green right side. And we know it's so quick once it gets past the hole. So, ran down to there. And she makes the one coming back. So, nice way to finish. It'll be round of 68 for a Tia Tittigan. Not surprised to see a DT. Would not be surprised, I should say, to see a DT contend here this weekend. She's played so well so far this season and this is a perfect golf course for for her yeah going with her 54 degree sand wedge 75 yards to the hole that sound really flush yeah good shot obviously didn't have an issue getting it out of the bunker okay, she's been very very consistent I feel like it's only a matter of time before she finally gets a win this season Yan Lu and Riley Rennell both have made eagles today at the ninth. Not a third for Georgia Hall, but it is a birdie to finish the day. A little downhill, probably pulling to the right. Uh, there it is. Oh, she wanted that one badly and got it. That was a good four in the end, hard working. Drove it in trouble. I feel like it could have been a lot better. This is the tee at the par 3 11th. Jody, you at Shadow. And this is a six iron on the way, Tom. Got to land it short and let it hop up. Hearing over to the right. This one's going to work out nicely. Yeah. The green is kind of hidden by the fescue. Let's see how quickly. 
see the youngsters grow up on the tour. This is Yan Lu at the 18th for her second eagle of the day. The rookie from Korea coming off her best finish of the year. A tie for 21st is expected this afternoon if the wind stays down. We'll see those two eagles on the part of Yan Lu and get excited. Linnea Strom at the 12th. Yeah, and this is one that's going to be downhill. Nicely done. Yeah. Now we saw the approach from Linnea Strom, the Swede, at the 12th. This for Birdie. Linnea was Rookie of the Year on the Epson Tour back in 2018. And in this week's Epson Tour Graduate Spotlight, she talks about her days at Arizona State and the struggles that took her off the LPGA Tour and now that have gotten her back. This was a moment ago, Louise Riddestrom. Sweden, lives in California, has been playing her golf on the Epson Tour. A chance to get into the field here and maybe... Make something happen. Very good tee shot there. Yeah, second LPGA start of the season. Riddestrom here for a birdie at the 15th. Two birdies and a bogey for Sue. Starting to get a bit more boisterous around the 17th green. This is one of the greens where folks hang out here and have a good time. Yeah, there they are. Make a lot of sense to me. I think it'd be nice to have that, that storyline. Here's Boot away at the 12th. 10 paces ahead from where Paula just hit. Similar result. Jung and Lee 5, Lee 5. For a birdie from the back of the green. Oh! Yeah, rattling it in. That's the way to do it. It's really tough, Tom, to play between two tours, have conditional status here. You don't want to give up that opportunity when you do get into an LPJ event because one good week could really propel you for the rest of the season. To gain entry into these events, and if you haven't played well, when they do that reshuffle, you move down the list, you don't get into as many tournaments. At the 14th, last year's runner-up in the playoff to Brooke Henderson, Lindsay Weaver-Wright. At the 12th, Ayaka Futaway for another birdie. Yeah, to quickly get to minus two. Didn't miss many of those in Vegas. Either of the last two years, actually. It's really amazing when you think about it in match play when anything can happen to finish in the finals two years in a row. Much more serious than that. Wailing Shi for a birdie at the 13th. Yeah, rare birdie today. And her balance. It's Riddestrom now for the birdie at 17. Her eighth hole of the day. That'll get a cheer from the crowd. Tough run there at 13 and 14, but nice bounce back. And you can't plan for every single little minute upslope or downslope. Oh, what a great looking putt. Who was in the mix last week at the Mizuho Americas Open, continuing this very good rookie season? I was trying to think, Tom. When has she not? When has she not been in contention this year? It feels like she's been putting herself consistently. Stacy Lewis. This one's going to be on a nice line. Yeah, playing it with the wind. Mm-hmm. The best of the bunch. Good shot. On that 15th, that can be really frustrating. Here is Linnea Strom at 16. Just trying to land something right on the very, very front edge. It's so interesting that she played golf with her eyes closed. Yeah. It's amazing that it took so long. Oh. I don't know how that didn't break into the hole. That was a good looking roll, almost. Like it held up off the backside of that bunker just a fraction as it got closer to the hole. The 16th and that 17th. This is Strom for birdie. 
If you're one of the 10 Epson graduates, 